Some ER patients may one day be asked to hand over their smartphone to help doctors diagnose a time-sensitive condition. Problems with reading or speech are both signs of a potentially debilitating disease. However, in one recent case study, it was text messages that aided doctors in determining that a 40-year-old male patient had had a stroke. Study author Amran Kaskar, a neurologist at Henry Ford Hospital, explains that several hours before going to the ER, the patient had sent his wife some garbled text messages. We tested all of his uh, uh, components of language, meaning writing, reading, comprehension, spoken word. Um, but then when we asked him to uh, copy a text message uh, that one of my other uh, staff said, um, he couldn't type it properly. This new condition has been coined with a tongue-twisting name that means the inability to text. Dystextia is a new buzzword that's kind of uh, come on recently. Um, and what it actually means is there's a disruption in, in the function of the patient. They, you know, they can't text, they can't type. Since text messages are time-stamped, they help give doctors clues about when symptoms started and if it is appropriate time-wise to give the patient clot-busting medication. When you get a timestamp on a message, you know something's not right at this time. And in our field, um, time is brain. In the future, checking for dystextia may become a vitally important diagnostic tool, particularly for patients that show no other clear symptoms of having had a stroke.